Okay, so today we're going to talk about how to properly install uh, and hook up your Axiom uh, conversion or your Hoyt uh, blade running chair to the back of your bike. So as you can see here, I have the, the back of my bike set up to, to, to work well for this uh, tutorial. And I have a blade uh, bike boom attachment for the bike and I have an Axiom bike boom attachment for the bike. So to get started, the first thing you're going to do is remove the uh, rod out of the rear tire of your bike, uh, which is very simple. You just unscrew it and, and then it'll come right out. You should have two springs in there, so make sure you don't lose those. Uh, and then the next step is going to be putting the rod back on with whichever uh, attachment you have. So this is for a uh, blade, and as you can see, this one will go vertical, and then for an Axiom, it goes horizontal. So the next step is simply uh, reinserting your bike rod through the bike boom attachment for whichever chair and then securing it back um, to your bike. So you'll tighten it down. You want to make sure that your the uh, bike did not come unseated and it's all the way into the, uh, the rear fork. And again, for, for the Axiom, uh, which is what we have here, um, it's a horizontal piece where the blade would, the exact same process, it's just vertical. So you would just ensure that this is tightened all the way down and then latch your uh, lever onto your bike. And then you're all set for this portion. All right, so the next step in uh, hooking up your Axiom uh, to be able to be towed behind a bike is removing the front tire. So much like the back tire on your bike, you have the um, rod. Loosen that up, it'll slide right out. Set that off to the side. And then you have the bike boom. Um, same, same idea um, with the rod. So loosen that up. Oops, sorry. Remove these two screws from the top of the Axiom. Set those aside. They're, they should be the smallest ones that you have. Um, set those to the side. And then this will slide. Oh boy, sorry. This will slide into the front fork. Uh, Reinsert your screws. Make sure you put both of them in. Tighten those all the way down. And then just like you did on your bike, reinsert the. Uh, rod and just like you would have it on on your bike make sure this thing is all you know as tight as it, it'll go all right so between the rod being as tight as it can go and these screws all the way down that is it, what those three elements keep it secured to the actual chair all right so that's secured that's not going anywhere the next step is actually hooking up this female end to the male end which we put on the bike uh, a moment ago okay so the last step in hooking up your uh, axiom conversion to the bike before you uh, are able to roll is inserting the male end that we put onto the back of the bike remember it's a uh, horizontal piece uh, into the female end of the actual bike boom so it should slide right in um, it helps if you have another person to hold the chair I, uh, this one's obviously propped up and then you have two safety mechanisms you have a pin that gets inserted from the top if it's lined up right all right and then that'll come out the other end the bottom and then you just clip that on and that secures the male end into the female end now should that uh, ever happen to pop off you have a secondary um, safety system so this goes around your bike on your frame and then clips on to the boom from the attachment so you have two points of contact to keep the boom attached to the bike um, and then after that you're you're actually ready to roll uh, so you are all hooked up at this point into an axiom conversion racer chair now uh, in this video obviously there are not the roll bars on uh, the bike but those those should be on as well and that's it axiom conversion racer hooked up to a bike Okay, now we're going to talk about putting your Hoyt running chair bike boom onto your Hoyt blade. Uh, so the first step is going to be removing the front wheel, setting that aside, and then underneath there's a pin 
that you will remove and then the front fork will slide off and then the bike boom will slide in. Then the next step is going to be inserting that pin back in. Make sure that fork is fully seated. All right. You need to make sure that pin is clipped on to the other side um, to ensure that it's fully attached. Then the next step is going to be hooking it up to the bike. Okay, now that you have the uh, boom attached to your Hoyt blade, the next step is going to be attaching that to the bike. So it will slide in to the piece that we put on earlier. You have your first safety mechanism, which is a pin, which goes from the top down to the bottom once it's all the way lined up. Get that out of the way. All right, and then that'll clip in at the bottom. And then this one, just like before, goes around your bike and clips into the bottom. And now you're all set. Your Hoyt running chair blade is hooked up to a bike. And you're ready to roll. Have fun.